What's your favorite Kirby game? Maybe you're a Dreamland 3 kind of dude. Maybe you're a Superstar kind of gal. Commitment issues? Perhaps a Star Allies kind of guy. No bitches? Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of 2D platformers, yet I love this pink little planet muncher, and for two very big reasons. First, obviously, being his beautifully simple character design, and second is Kirby Air Ride. And third is his tit. Kirby Air Ride released on the Cube in 2003, along with other Nintendo GameCube classics like Double Dash, F-Zero GX, and Mario Party. And if you ask me, even though Air Ride is kind of the kart racer of the Kirby series, I'd be quicker to compare it to the party animals over here before the other two. And I'll tell you why in today's episode of ICYHP, or in case you haven't played, Kirby Air Ride Edition. My day, my day, we're going down! This game was developed by HAL Laboratories. You know, the, the same logo you see when you boot up Melee and start chain grabbing your nephew until he throws a brick at the cop. And if you've played Melee before, then booting up this gem is gonna feel a lot like you're getting a Sakurai flavored loogie in your eyes from its presentation. With its menu layout, music, and even down to the max CPU difficulty being 9. Right off the bat, you're gonna have three flavors of poison, so pick wisely. Air Ride Mode is what this game is named after and is about you getting together with your boys or, or tennis rackets with smiley faces drawn on them if you're an awkward only child like me, and racing through various courses on your StarCraft of choice. Racing is as simple as tilting the control stick to steer and pressing the A button to slow down, pressing the A button to drift, pressing the A button to swallow monsters, pressing the A button to file your taxes, pressing the A button to kill a man. Racing around these tracks is actually really intuitive and fluid, even when I'm getting absolutely smoked by the other puffballs. Kirby is typically known for being for little babies, but this game treats you like you're more fast and furious than Vinny Van Diesel. But if you pick the right air ride machine, you'll have a fighting chance. Each of the Kirby cards have their own attributes and can totally change how the race plays out. You'll start with the normal bob of air ride machines, the warp star. But as you compete in races, you'll unlock more rides, skins for your planet muncher, and stage. Notice the lack of the letter S because there is only one stage to unlock, with 8 being available from the start, so a whopping total of not a lot of boopity bada stages, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, this game is not short on unlockables at all. There's an entire challenge board full of unlockables, which uh, if you know how I feel about unlockables, then you would know the challenge boards give me an unlock a boner. Sorry, that was gross. And it's not just Air Ride, all three of the main modes have their own challenge boards with a whopping total of 360 challenges 360 to board. Wait, you can talk? <laughs> Stop! Stop! This is legit one of the most rewarding games I've played thanks to these boards, but let's not forget Air Ride is only one of three ways to play this game. Next up is Top Ride, which is... Next up is City Tri- Okay, look, Top Ride is fine, and I'm sure there's some Top Ride enjoyers out there, but I ain't one of them, so we're making this quick. Like, real quick. Top Ride is like Air Ride, except the races are viewed from a top-down perspective with shorter tracks and more laps. Anyways, next up is City Trial. City Trial is where it's at. Anyone who knows a thing or two about a thing or two in regards to Kirby Air Ride knows it should have been called Kirby City Trial. This mode smacks you at a random-ass spot in a big-ass city with your friends or tennis rackets and has you gliding around, breaking boxes to find upgrades, secrets, or a can of whoop-ass to lay down on the other curbs. And if you're the unlucky son of a son who got their cart blown to smithereens, you could just get up and run around to find yourself a cart that'll have different attributes. And seeing a 3D Kirby run around in a 3D environment gave childhood me a that's so raven ass vision to be like, holy crap, one day there's gonna be a 3D mainline Kirby game. And also a streaming platform titled Twitch where a lady named Pokimane will be crowned as queen over all the Fortnite gamers. I will also make a YouTube video where I blatantly lie about being able to see the future as a kid. This mode is about collecting power-ups to get the sickest, most tricked out cart in the land. Cause once that timer runs out, you're gonna be thrown into one of a variety of different mini games where you'll just have to cross your fingers that you did a good job by collecting nothing but glide power-ups. Spoiler warning, you're probably dead because glide is pissed. Then your Amelia Earhart looking ass will place in first, you'll unlock some shit. Is that Meta Knight? Then rinse and repeat. This is why I consider Kirby Air Ride to be less of a Mario Kart killer and more like another one of Kirby's party game spin-offs revolving around the gimmick that is Air Ride. I don't think the game is titled Air Ride because the main mode is Air Ride. I think this mode was named after the gimmick and is just one of three different ways to enjoy the game, though we're all given just as much love as one another. Maybe not Top Ride though. So with the idea in mind that this is a party game, there's not really an ending here. It's just about having fun and filling out the challenge boards to unlock some overpowered and super secret machines and other characters. But I'll let you play and discover that stuff on your own. This game is seriously just pure bliss, and even though as a kid I literally only ever played City Trial, I can now see as a matured man that the other two modes, that Air Ride also has some value. So whether you're playing Air Ride or City Trial, whether you're playing as Yellow Kirby or Edgy Kirby, and whether you're playing with humans or tennis rackets, you're gonna be having a good time. Oh crap, not again. My day, my day! Ugh. Where is this? Am I in some kind of forgotten land?